Hey gang, so uh, on the 23rd of this month, I was implementing a new uh, pop-up on our blog uh, because I had noticed that many of the top marketers that we follow had started to use two-step pop-ups uh, rather than just the traditional light box or pop-up when someone comes to your blog and uh, they go scroll through some pages, they then have a pop-up that pops up. We were making it so specifically when someone exits our blog. So for example, someone comes to our main blog and they are searching around and seeing what's going on and then they go to uh, leave our blog so the mouse actually tracks when someone's about to leave. Uh, this pop-up will show up now because I have it I'm the admin it doesn't pop up for me when I go to leave so I'll show you in the preview what it looks like so it's a tool called exit mist I uh, just found out about it last week uh, and started implementing it uh, really cool really simple I'm gonna show you how I did everything uh, here so someone comes that imagine our blog is in the background they went to leave our blog this pops up in front of them quick question do you want to convert more leads into paying customers there's a yes box yes I want more customers and there's a no I don't want any more customers if someone clicks the no option the uh, pop-up dissolves and they go back to the page that they were on if they click yes it shows them the enter the email enter our enter the first name enter the email they opt in and then it's pointing them to the thank you page that goes to this opt-in. So two-step opt-ins are you're getting the micro commitment at first from the person so your, your conversion rate goes through the roof and the person that ends up going through your funnel is, uh, is a higher quality lead. So let's go in and together I'll show you exactly how I made this. It took me like 20 minutes to do. Uh, so really powerful because it, rather than showing your pop-up up. Um, see most people's pop-up comes like someone hits your blog or your website and this doesn't just have to be a blog that you put this uh, exit pop-up on it could be any website you want so someone comes to your website and they start scrolling through some pages and uh, your pop-up goes up over what they're looking at now that's interruption marketing some people get pissed off about it so the best way to do it is when they're actually leaving because then obviously they're on their way out now it's time to uh, you know to capitalize on that so the uh, exit mist make it really really easy to um, to create a pop-up uh, create new pop-up and then you you put the website that it's going to be on. So let's do this for our Empower Network blog. Choose a free life.com campaign Kalatu main blog. I'm pretty sure I'm spelling Kalatu wrong, but who cares? And they, they have the option here to an image pop up, opt in pop up. So you can. Uh, have someone just an image pops up that they click and they get taken to somewhere else or to a capture page the opt-in so it comes up right away but this is the one that we want the two-step opt-in so uh, the first thing that you have to do is you have to create your image now luckily for us we all, we all have access to Canva so I just came in and made a slide inside of Canva so I chose uh, presentation as the prefix I put a grey background on it, I then uh, found this little bottom design from uh, from Google and then I simply just made these little buttons by in paint, you know, really easy, grey box, yellow box, put that stuff in and then typed in my text. So I made slide one, this would be slide one and then if you remember when we we're previewing it we have to make this slide also and I'll show you in a second how we make it clickable and whatnot. Uh, and then I just made my second slide inside of Canva. So I left space because inside of Exit Mist, this is where you're going to put the name and the email fields. So I had an image of what they were getting, the uh, the button that they clicked to submit, and then some copy enticing them to opt in. So now that we've made our first slide, 
and we've made our second slide we save them to our desktop and then uh, inside of exit list you choose how big you want okay you choose how big you want your exit pop-up to be ours was 600 and something 602 uh, and then you you choose your welcome slide so let's actually download these so we know where they are right away so in Canva hopefully you've done some stuff with Canva before it's amazing it allows you and I the the uh, the cowboy at making images to make images that look like designers actually made them so we download that image and then we'll download the second slide image to our desktop okay inside the exit mist we are going to upload our first slide cool and then we can make it bigger if we want looks good and uh, click this little opt-in thing and then we're going to upload our second slide which is our opt-in click back to welcome and over on the left hand side here actions this is where we're going to make it clickable so when someone clicks these it actually works and doesn't just sit there uh, as a stagnant image so add action and then we just scroll this blue box down to the same area to the same area of the button and then we choose what do we want this action to be submit form go to next slide close pop-up go to URL well this button would be go to next slide and then click another action and we're just gonna put it on this other button and this one would be close pop-up remember because we want someone to click yes it will bring up the next slide click no and it will close the pop-up uh, once we have done that, click the opt-in field and actions. Oops, that's wrong. We don't want to put an action. We want to put in a field. So rather than being actions, we're in field. And put our first box right here. And this will be name. So it puts it in. And then we'll add another field. And this will be email. So now we have our fields in there. And then we need to do an, one action on the opt-in slide for the button. So when someone clicks the button, it submits the form. Okay, so now that we have our welcome tab with the two buttons, and we have our opt-in slide with the, the name and email fields and our button that's active. Now we have to go to configuration. So you can check this if you want it when the mouse leaves the site. That's what we recommend. You can come up right away or you can manually trigger it by triggering it by putting in code and having a timer. We would suggest when the mouse leaves the, uh, the site. Opening animation, you can do any one that you want. We didn't have any animation on ours. And uh, the slide animation none it just pops up uh, you can have it to delay we don't want it because we want it as soon as someone's leaving the site and store cookies for 356 days cool custom code we can leave uh, field customization we can leave and then integrations so if you want to integrate this with a Aweber form or get response form or whatever uh, this is where you'd put in your HTML. So you could actually grab, you could go into Aweber or into your autoresponder. So log into your autoresponder, get the uh, web form code that you want to use, take that HTML and come back in here and paste it in. And then that's going to make sure that when someone opts in here, it's going to go to the specific list of the sign up form code that you put in there. Okay, now that we've got all of that, we can go ahead and click save, click preview. Someone would try and leave our site. Quick question, if they click no, it's going to dissolve. If they click yes, the slide will come up. Put in their name, put in their email, click that button. You can test it here also just to make sure it's working. And uh, the last thing that you'd want to do is make sure that you're sending them to the right web page. So inside of your form, 
uh, make sure in your settings you've chosen the right web page you want to send them to after they've opted in. Okay, so once you've done that and everything's working good, you just go to install pop up, and all you're doing is pasting, pasting this code into your website. So we suggest that you put, put the pop up code in the footer right before the body tag. Uh, if you guys had been a part of the group here on Facebook that was uh, helping us with this test, it, it was because I had another pop-up script in the footer and that's why it wasn't working for you guys. So when I took that out, then it worked fine. So you would just take this code and you would place it into the body tag of your HTML and your code and your site. If you don't know how to do that, get, pay someone else to do it. And that's it. Now, anytime that someone comes to your uh, website and they go to leave, this awesome two-step pop-up is gonna happen uh, for them. So there you go, some incredible value. If you wanna use Exit Pop-up, um, just click the, the button below this video right now. It's our affiliate link below. And if you have any questions, just shoot us a question on Facebook. We're more than happy to, to answer them. All right, happy cracking, happy marketing season. So go ahead and start your free trial now by clicking the button below.